My name is Sherry Moore, and I am the Executive Director of Rapa Ministries. We are a free medical clinic for uninsured people who do not qualify for government assistance. So we have a lot of hardworking individuals who just can't afford health care, and their jobs do not offer that kind of health care. People that don't come to us because they have a cold or a sore throat. They come with us to us because they have a chronic illness that sometimes is very life-threatening or just debilitating and they need health care and they don't have the access or the money to get it. So when they come here, we're able to give it to them and it gives them hope and joy and wow, they're going to live now. And that is just a great ministry that I think that, you know, this town and every town needs because we all just cherish being able to be on this earth. We had a young lady come in who had, was having health issues and her family had her come in to see us. And she ended up having diabetes. It was something we assessed very easily. And she just began bawling. She was Hispanic and in her country, if you get a diagnosis such as diabetes, it means you're gonna lose limbs. It means you're gonna die early. And she was just weeping because she thought that was her fate. And our translator just patted her and said, oh, don't you worry, honey. She said, you're gonna live a long, healthy life because Rafa's going to take care of you and we're going to get you on the medicine you need every month and you're going to keep all your hands and feet and you're going to live a long, healthy life. A guy a few weeks ago who came in and he had been going downhill and he, we had sent him out, connected him with other providers to get more screenings and testings and everything kept coming back negative. And he came in that day for even more testing and he, we actually needed to call an ambulance. He was that sick and he denied it. He said, no, you cannot call an ambulance. I cannot afford that. He was adamant. And we uh, sat with him and talked with him longer. And we said, we've got a hospital in Lexington that's gonna take you for free. So we called a taxi. We paid for a taxi for him to go to Lexington. And he just started, I said, can we pray for you? And he said, he got down in the floor. I didn't know if he was gonna make it back up. And he just raised his hands. He just started weeping because he was so ill and he just needed our support emotionally, whatever. And he did make it to Lexington in that, in that uh, taxi. And he stayed there for weeks and weeks. But he made a good recovery. And without us, I'm, I'm just concerned he would have gone home and laid in his bed and died because he was that ill. And so, you know, we're here to save lives, help lives, and make lives better. Being a medical clinic, um, you know, our costs are very expensive. And when we have need of specific equipment or whatever, um, I, you know, we have to go out and look for grants. And I'm so thankful that Kentucky Colonels was there to us because we have a new EKG machine, which is very vital when you're trying to take care of patients. You know, they don't want to run to the emergency room. You know, they don't have that health care. And we've had patients who've denied and said, no, I will not go to the emergency room. And having things like an EKG machine that can assess them properly and say, no, you're having a major coronary event and we're going to take care of you and get you where you need to be. That is just essential because without devices like this, you just don't know what they need. A huge shout out and thank you to Kentucky Colonels for providing the funds for a piece of equipment that saves lives. I mean, that is enormous and I can't think of a better gift that they could have given us and thank you.